Hi, I'm Tammy Fontana with All in the Family Counseling Center, Private Limited. Today I am talking about um, is the therapist against you when they agree with something that your spouse or partner is saying in session? Or are they on your side if they happen to agree with you? So this is what I wanted to answer today. Um, I'm a clinically trained therapist, sex therapist, um, U.S. trained based out of Singapore. And I'm just trying to do these videos to answer a lot of questions, to demystify the therapy process and, and hopefully allow people to a sense of comfort, at least if they want it to work with me, to talk to, to hear how I talk and using plain language, not clinical language, because a lot of times I think it's easier to talk about things in plain language as people do every day than batting around clinical terms. And if you're not a clinician, it won't make a lot of sense. And the other thing too is a lot of people hijack our terms and it kind of gets away from what it means. So do, what does that mean? Does that mean that the therapist is on your side or not? Well, one of the things you want to remember in couples counseling and you step back, and I'll tell people that it there's three people in the session. There's you, your spouse, and the relationship. And the therapist generally is not taking anybody's side. They're on the side of the relationship. They're not on your spouse's side, and they're not on the other person's side. You also have to remember that the therapist is not a judge. They're not there scoring points. They're not refereeing. And sometimes the reality is um, people, your partner or you, may be saying things that are objectively true. Like if somebody um, is behaving poorly, abusively, um, uh, disrespectfully or inconsiderate, yeah, we will validate that point. Does that mean we're on your side? Does that mean you score a point and you're winning? Absolutely not. In therapy, generally it takes a minimum about 10 to 12 sessions just to get a baseline understanding of the therapist and the people that I'm dealing with and their dynamics and their interaction. And a lot of times it takes quite a while to figure out what are these patterns going on. In other words, somebody may be doing one behavior or pattern that is kind of dysfunctional or not helpful, and then after I work on it, because it reveals, oh, they're reacting to this pattern that the partner's doing. And well, and this person, as I dig into that, is doing it because of this. So people usually have good reasons for why they're doing things or not. Sometimes it has to do in reaction to their partner. Other times it has to do in reaction to how the person was growing up, they were raised, or their belief systems. But in therapy, generally, the therapist... You, you have to remember therapy takes time. So in one 50 minute session or two 50 minute sessions or three, this is not actually a lot of time. A therapist is trying to assess, build a relationship, teach you how to do therapies, figure out how well you know, self-reflection, feelings, a lot of things going on. And on top of it, managing often people coming in with really big feelings um, and who are in a heck of a lot of pain, um, and really scared and so there's a lot of things going on in that 50 minutes and often because clients are having such big feelings it's not unusual that they can misunderstand or misinterpret or not hear things correctly because they're having big feelings and they're not aware that their big feelings really affect how they hear and it's not unusual and this is why i tell people you know you have to come back in and it's not unusual where uh, somebody will have a session and then they'll go back and maybe even just the one person comes back and they'll say, well, my spouse was saying you said, and they will start interpreting what I said. And, you know, even in the session, I'll say, well, you can't interpret what I say. You would have to come back and ask me just like you would in a relationship. But a lot of times people will take what I hear and then, and then they'll go off and say, Tammy meant this, or she meant that, or she said you did this, or she, and they're never coming back and asking me, hey, when you said this, what did you mean? When you said that, what did you mean? When you agreed with me, does that mean you're on my side and against them? So these are all of the nuances of, of a therapy that part of therapy is learning that you can't draw conclusions, you can't interpret what the therapist means, you can't make sense of it, you need to learn to ask them. So just because a therapist agrees with your partner and says, hey, that sounds bad, or they're, or they're, or they're actually not even agreeing with them, they're validating their feelings in reaction to you, that doesn't mean they're making any statement. You would need to ask them. Um, so again, therapy isn't about scoring points. It's about understanding what's going on, seeing the dynamics in the relationship, and and building a relationship with your therapist. So if you have questions about what they're doing or if you're wondering, 
do not interpret your therapist. You don't know them well enough to know what they think or what they mean. You need to learn to ask. If you're not happy with something, ask. Um, but generally, therapists are working with couples, and it does take time to understand these kind of back and forth dynamics. So I hope that gives you a little bit of more clarity and help. Thanks.